What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with an the uh, Angelic Krakens deck. Uh, if you missed part one, we really didn't do very well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any wins, but we're going to try again. We're going to see if we can do it. Uh, we're having a fun time with this deck on, on this lovely Friday. Hopefully you guys have some weekend plans, some fun things going on, and hopefully we can kick it off with just the absolute silliest of things. So, uh, it's a bit of an interesting hand. Uh, a little slow, actually, but... Uh, with this temple, that kind of helps. Um, I actually think we keep that. Uh, and then, of course, we have Revitalize to keep us in the game a little bit. So these Nadir Krakens are very, very good. So hopefully we can uh, make that work. Uh, these are just super, super strong engines for this deck. Elspeth Conquered's Death, also very good. Uh, interesting. Hmm. That's an interesting include. Well, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and revitalize here. I do understand that um, with the Krakens, it's usually a good idea to hold on to them, but uh, I think we're here we're going to go ahead and play one out. Um, and hey, we got another one, so nice. It's very good. <clears throat> Sure. All right. Um, yep. Let's go ahead and pay two. Uh, we'll play another Kraken. We'll attack here. Got to kind of force the hand on the Gideon. <clears throat> uh, we can't really have that living very long. Uh, because it's minus six is a problem for sure. Uh, there is the option, I guess, next turn, though, of just pegging it with uh, Elspeth Conquer's death. So there's that. Kind of want to hold on to that, though, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, auto pay. Auto pay. It's Castle Ardenvale. Let's do this and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> kind of want to get a little sneaky with this, but I don't know if we're actually going to be able to or not. Um, let's just see what happens. You hold no power over me. Nice. The thing is, they have to be careful about this pride mate. Like, I don't know that they can just go all in on the attack here. Um, it'd be great if they could, I'm sure, but I don't think they will be able to. All right, sure. Oh, I guess, yeah, they can give up vigilance. That's fair. All right. Um, so if we do this, we can spit out another token trade off with the pride mate here or do they give it indestructible no they gave it lifelink okay or we can do this spit out a couple tokens i think i'd kind of rather do this um we'd lose the kraken either way uh let's auto pay there all right so we do something like that and hope they don't have a yep cool that's fine by me. It's not great, but it gets rid of that pride mate, which is a problem. Um, auto pay there. Let's get this out. We'll just Elspeth Conquer's death, because now we have a Kraken in the graveyard that we want to get back. Um, and we just attack in. Wow. Okay. Uh, did not think they would just give up that quickly. Um, I mean, I'm glad we got the win, but they had plenty of life to work with. That was kind of a, a premature uh, concede, I think. But hey, we got there. We got a win. We did it. Um, that's unexpected. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's jump into game two. Hopefully we can get another one. Um, 
like I said at the in the beginning of part one, I don't think that this deck is at all competitively viable, but um, it it's fun. It works, you know, okay. It's it's silly, but it, it's fine. Um, do we keep this hand? This hand does a lot of nothing in the early game, uh, but it does. Well, I say that. I mean, it's got some little pieces here. It's just they're not very board interactive. Um, I think we try it. It's not great, but I think we try it. Uh, we get to Fable Passage for a uh, Plains, so we've got our white source. We'll see. <clears throat> <sighs> also, guys, what are your weekend plans? Uh, we talked about it at the beginning of the video. Hopefully, you've got some fun stuff come going on uh, this weekend. Um, we've got some of my fiance's family is coming into town, so we are going to... Uh, we're fortunate enough to be able to spend some time with them. Uh, that's tonight, actually. Um, and then I'm going to play disc golf on Sunday, I think. Uh, and then do a, it's my brother's birthday. Um, and so we're going to do a little family dinner as well. Really excited about that. Um, Got to pick him up. We're, we're, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you've watched any of the, the videos where Will and I are just kind of rambling and hanging out, um, you will probably know that I am a very large scotch drinker, uh, and my whole family, uh, the guys in my family are all scotch drinkers, uh, the ladies in my family generally are bourbon drinkers, which is kind of fun, um, except for my sister, uh, and so we're, we're always, like, kind of fighting back and forth, well, which is the better whiskey, like, that kind of stuff, but, um, we, ha we have a really fun kind of bond uh where we do like scotch tasting things just for fun and that kind of stuff and it's a great time uh really really fun time and so i'm very fortunate to have uh, a family who likes to to do things like that together and so every once in a while uh my dad and i in particular will go around and you know pick up a couple of uh of scotch bottles and try some new things and do that kind of stuff and it's it's great it's really a, a pretty awesome experience um, I actually think we do this. The Elspeth conquers death against this kind of mono red strategy. Not amazing, uh, if I'm honest, but that's fine. Uh, surprised that they didn't do anything turn two. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we have a, a fun weekend. Um, I gotta pick up a bottle of scotch for my brother, um, for his birthday. Uh, but it's gonna be fun. Uh, I think it's just Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Like, it's not great, but, like, it's something. Um. Yeah, I mean. Do that. We get to revitalize here. Uh, and then we Elspeth. We've got Elspeth Conquers Death 1 to deal with this Anax, which is a very clean answer to Anax. Uh, so very fortunate there, but, um. Woo. We'll just go ahead and revitalize. Man, I'm kind of regretting not keeping that, that Elspeth Conqueror's death, to be honest. All right. Well, here we go. Yep. The only good news is we're going to get to draw a couple cards. So hopefully we get something worthwhile there, but we're not in great shape here. No doubt. Um, we'll just play the Castle Ardenvale. Uh, play out an El Elspeth. The only thing I don't like about this card is it really broadcasts what you're about to do. Um, ooh, that's a great draw, actually. Uh, let's spit out a couple tokens here. Uh, just allows us to block as much as possible. We can kind of save ourselves the max amount of damage here. Um, chances are they're going to be able to just kill stuff pretty quickly. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Sure, that's fair. Um, as long as that's not an Embercleave, that's fine by me. Embercleave is the card I'm worried about. Okay, sure. Then they can kill Elspeth here if they'd like. And then some. I mean, they've got plenty to do whatever they want with. They could deal six to us. Um, I think we might just die. Right? Say hi to my fiery friends. 
Okay. Um, they're just very, very fast. I think this deck would benefit just from some nice sweepers. Do they just kill us? We're at one. All right, so we're dead. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> With a goblin banner at there as well. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Well... We had a lot of strong stuff in hand. They just had more stuff on the field we couldn't deal with, so that's fine. Let's jump into our third, well, really our sixth and final game with this deck. Hopefully we can get one more win. Um, like I said, this one's more of a, a test and see how it goes kind of strategy. Um, so it's fun to just try stuff like this every once in a while. I like that this plays with a not only Divine Visitation, which is obviously kind of the main card in it, but... Um, you know, things that like the Benthid and things that you don't normally get to play with. Um, it's just kind of a nice little interesting. Um, we'll try this. This is not great, but we'll try it. Can opt on their turn, see what we get. Got Dawn of Hope as a turn two option. Eventually, we could start spitting out a few tokens. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, sure. You know, we'll keep that. Uh, it's a. It's a thing. All right. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do. Um, there's a nice little card to just have on the field, but they're going to have a lot of creatures, so we are going to have to be pretty careful here. Um, let's just do this, and we'll pass. Uh, we can pull out an island, and then we've got Raise the Alarm here. I'm guessing this is a Winota deck. Just my my initial assumption. Um, yeah. Just let that happen. We can't kill it, so no ch no reason to, to really just sit and block. Why did they not play that? They could have attacked with that. That makes no sense. I think that was a, uh, a mistake. All right. Uh, let's do this. do this we'll spit out some tokens obviously not attacking uh, this does give us a way to triple block on this uh, if need be this may not even be a no this is a Winota deck okay <laughs> um, I was gonna say it may not be but now it definitely is um, yeah we just blocked there uh, let's do that let's Let's get Elspeth Conquer's death in here. Let's actually get rid of Tajik. I think that's kind of the biggest issue. Um, this Legion War Boss is good, but it's manageable, theoretically. Um, brought back might be a very interesting thing. Sure. On the bright side, we get to see what's going on first, so that's kind of nice. And we definitely are going to be able to deal with this Legion War boss, which is nice. Wow. Whoa. Uh, okay. We got to deal with all these little guys. Uh, we can't block there. Uh, but these, this gets rid of all the non-human stuff, uh, which just means Winota doesn't trigger. Um, so I'm perfectly fine doing that. Uh, so we can do this. Spit out a couple things. Um, I, from the we can exact justice. I mean, it's the best we can do, unfortunately. We do get to bring something back here, too. Okay. So I assume they just pull raise the alarm. Maybe it's brought back that they take because they think it's a combo piece. Um, it's really not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Um, we really need a divine visitation. Like, pretty handily, we need a divine visitation. Yes, do that. I will straight block that enforcer. Okay. They are really heavily considering a lot of options here.
get rid of that just so we can get rid of their indestructible. If they've got something to, to play. Ah, okay. Well done. That was a solid play. Uh, granted, we're going to get an Elspeth back here for free, which is kind of nice. Let's do that. Uh, loyalty counter. That goes away. Um, let's do brought back. Get Elspeth conquers death. Get rid of that. Um, it's the best we can do. Alright, well, that's all we can do. Uh, but, you know, it's a start. Oh, man, come on. This is such an annoying card. Pactos is so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Divine Visitation. Uh, no attacks. It's the card we wanted, um, and we're gonna get an Elspeth Conquers Death back here. Or, excuse me, an Elspeth Sun's Nemesis. Elspeth Conquers Death. Uh, this is bad, though. Very bad. What you got? Oh, they missed. I don't know. We might just die here. I didn't count. Oh, we didn't. That's surprising. Prepare yourself, Heliod. I have killed one god. Together we can exact justice. Whoops. So the problem is we just die to Hactos. Because we can't do anything about it. Uh, we can game five life. But we still are going to die. Yep. Uh, we'll let them do their thing, but we're definitely dead. We tried. Um, I think we, we put up a fight here, surprisingly. Um, and I don't think we misplayed so much as we just... Excuse me, we didn't have enough things. Sure. Just let them do their thing. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, well, we'll sum up the deck as we're going through them. Um, what did they get? Oh, Kenrith. Uh, we'll sum up the deck, though. First of all, like I said, this was never meant to be competitive. This was meant to be just a fun kind of idea. Um, do I think it works? Not really. Um, I think it's fun, but I don't think it works. Uh, I would definitely do things a lot differently in this deck. But uh, I do really like the interaction. It's a fun one. Um, I think it needs just a little bit more interaction on the opponent's side. So I would swap out some of the like prophecies and things like that uh, for a little bit more like board interaction. Um, the great thing about a token deck like this is you can still put sweepers in it and it's fine because you get to rebuild, whereas the opponent doesn't. Um, and so I think I would lean more towards the controlling element and then have that token element just kind of as a sub theme. So that would just be my take on it. Um, I might play around with this list because I do like it, but it definitely needs a lot of work. Uh, regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. Uh, I really do appreciate the support you guys watching and everything. And again, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, I know we don't normally do too many videos over the weekend just because I'm usually fairly busy. Um, and during the day, I, I generally am not home. So like, I hope that I can get some videos up for you guys, but if I don't, uh, then I will see you guys on Monday, uh, and we'll, we'll talk over Discord if you're not already there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you very soon in the next gameplay video.